Ooh, so today we got Big B's Crushing Thirst Destroyer. 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 Long title for a soda. Well, let's see what it tastes like. You know, they could have just said Coke. It would have been fine. <laughs> so yeah, Big B's th Crushing Thirst Destroyer, it's a long name, is Coke. Tastes like Coke, at least. You know what? I've never been a fan of Coke. Not really. It's just a soda to have. So, Big B's Crushing Thirst Destroyer is uh, going that way at the moment. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. The wizard Big B invented his Crushing Thirst Destroyer after an excursion to the city of Brass. So mighty is the beverage that the heat of the hundred effect Ifrites uh, is no match for its power of refreshment. Effect, you gain thirst immunity for 2d10 minutes. I'm pretty sure that's a little fa that's a little lie for the immunity to thirst. Mm, but everything else here, Big V going to the city of Brass, I'm sure that's has something to do more with uh, D and D history and the characters that have gone through it. You see, as far as I can tell and recall, because my limited of uh, the history of D and D is very slim. Big B was a character created by someone uh, in the D and D in the D and D verse. It was a it was a PC character, so along the li along the lines of uh, Mordekin. Yeah, that's right. It was actually Gary Gygax's character. <laughs> and just like Coke. Gives you gas. I mean, that's sort of the thing I'm going to realize about it all. That the characters in the universe, uh, all the historical ones, you know, the ones that actually have their names within uh, spells and concepts and ideas, places and all that, were creations of the people. It was an ev it was a uh, evolution and evol an evolving story created by people in the game, not just like game masters making up. That's sort of cool. The way I've come to view it is that PCs are just very small, limited, and sort of pointless. And if something good happens, it has more to do with chance than you actually doing shit. Unless that's, you know, I've been playing the long game and I should just start playing more and figure out other ideas and concepts behind it all. Because thus far, I've just seen characters as like, like pieces of paper to be utilized, thrown out, passed around here and there because they pass out so fast due to dice. And yet there was a time in the past that these characters were at that point, and yet still managed to come to a point where history was made. Spells were created that were historic places and moments, moments of history. Uh, either in Greyhawk, in some Forgotten Realms thing, or what have you, whatever the f History was created. But, you know, I don't really go about gaming like that. If I create a character, I don't think anything that big. I just think, oh, well, I just... But live out the world that is being presented before me, and if something good happens, something good will happen. I'm not going into a game expecting something to happen, that I'm going to be very impressive and awesome and great and all that. I mean, that's just egotistical, I think. Because in the end, it's not really what I want that matters. It's more about the enriching experience of play and all that, and just uh, making it fun. If something good happens, great. If something doesn't, yeah, it's all dice in the end. And you really can't control dice. I guess there's some classes that can do that, and that's all right. That's cool, but in the end, you can't really control it. So accept, enjoy yourself. Don't get too strung up about being awesome. That's pointless. It only make you unhappy in the long run. But on Bigby, I don't know much about Bigby, but other than the fact that Bigby's created some uh, very interesting spells, one of them being Bigby's Crushing Hand or Interposing Hand. Never saw that spell used in my play yet. I've read a bit about it before drinking this up. Supposedly it's a hand that between that appears between you and your opponent, so that no matter what happens between you, eh, it's helpful like that, I guess. Interesting. Only a little bit left to coke. Not that I'm that excited to finish it up. So I guess that's one of the things I got to focus on. Uh, focus on more spells to be used their utilization, how they can come about being awesome and all that, and the history of D&D &D and its characters and its evolution. Because there's so much to learn and know.
Hmm. Your luck will completely change today. I call bull. Once again, I call bull. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm doing it. It wasn't that tasty. Eh, whatever. Get on there. Oops.